it is time to give you the video and give you the news that everyone's been wanting to hear. Everyone's been waiting. Who won the ratings battle this week? Who had the best, more viewership? Was it WWE Raw or was it WWE SmackDown? Well, I have the live TV ratings uh, news report. Here we go for uh, the Raw's uh, edition of July 25th and SmackDown's edition of July 26th. Uh, however, before we get to that, I want to give you a little, um, just something very quickly before we get into this. So, because it's actually interesting, because, you know, did Triple H or Vince McMahon book Finn Balor on Raw? Uh, it's just a little, little uh, news report, really quick, little tidbit. So, Finn Balor making his WWE Raw debut this past Monday night and getting a WWE Unified Championship title match. It's a Universal Championship title match. Um, at SummerSlam caused some speculation that... Triple H might have booked the show. Now, obviously that's speculation is due to his, you know, the success on NXT and him running NXT, him creating it all, how it is today, and how he is behind these young guys. However, Dave Meltzer made it clear on Twitter that Vince McMahon is still booking the shows, writing Vince on Twitter. So, Vince McMahon has booked Finn Balor, and obviously we know, I mean, this is very shocking because usually Vince McMahon's, you know, he likes the powerhouse guys, he likes the big guys, he likes, you know, your Roman Reigns, your John Cena's, um, he likes those kind of guys, not the guys kind of like Finn Balor, and for him to book the show, Raw, and for him to make Finn Balor look that strong, and book the whole show, basically, he did everything on that show, to make it that good, it just shows, because Vince McMahon, they always said that, uh, Vince McMahon, you know, he's lost his touch, however, has he really lost his touch, has this new era really gave him, you know, something to do, has this new era actually gave him, um, you know, him to actually put his foot down and actually try to build new stars and actually try to give a good show. And uh, I'm very shocked at this. I thought, I actually did think Triple H was booking the show. Um, but yeah, interesting. Well, he has the final say. Maybe someone gave him the idea and he liked it, but yeah, he does have the final say, yeah. So, uh, wow, that's very shocking right there. Um, so, yeah. Yep. So, oh, wow. very shocking, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Didn't think, you know, no one would thought, no one would thought Triple H, but it was actually Vince McMahon, surprisingly. And a shocker. Wow. Um. So yeah, as we will be getting, giving you, I will be giving you the WRA July twenty fifth, twenty sixteen, live TV ratings report. And then the SmackDown report, Smack ratings report. Who won the ratings this week is the question. Um, so yeah. That's the question right now. Who won? So, everyone's been asked the question, how was WWE Raw viewership with Finn Balor's debut, follow up from Battleground, and the new roster? So, let's get into it. Now, the source is showbuzzdaily.com. Um, yeah. So, um, hold on. So, let's get into it. Okay. So, Monday's WWE Raw. Monday's WWE Raw. Um,. Featuring Battleground Fallout, Finn Balor's debut and the first show since the WWE Draft drew 3.338 million viewers. So that's basically 3 points. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so this is up 6.5% from last week's free draft show, which drew 3.133 million viewers. For this week's show, the first hour drew 3.412 million viewers. It's basically 3.4 million, but they, it's like, yeah, it's just let you guys know. It's not 412 more people, if you guys know how it works. Uh, the second hour drew 3.350 million viewers, because it's 350, so 3.3. Um, and the final hour drew 3.254 million viewers. Now, Raw was number 12 on cable for the night in viewership, and the 18th to 49th on the graphic, behind various shows covering the Democratic National Convention, and number 4 in the 18th through 49th. Demographic pan, love and hip hop, and two showings at the NC coverage on CNN. So let me look at this. So it's up 6.5%. Uh, 6.5%. And uh, so that's up. So yeah, they drew 3.338. Okay. 
And it went down hourly. The first hour is always usually the most watched. It actually went down. So, um... So I'm guessing... I mean, when you think about it... I don't know why it goes down to viewership, though, sometimes. Because it's like, right, a hey, strong show in the ratings. I'm going to give them that. It was up. That's all that matters. Um, it's up, and they had a pretty solid rating. Nothing to be really disappointed about. However, I just don't understand the drop, because... I thought they set the tone for the night, and I thought it was an ex very exciting opening segment just of what they announced. So I don't know why they would drop. I mean, they didn't drop uh, that big, though. I mean, 3.25, okay. Well, it didn't drop that big, but I still don't understand why people would maybe tune in just at least to the main event. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Just saying. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see. Why, you know, people didn't stay tuned. But Rob, will SmackDown beat this rating? Will SmackDown win the battles war? Will it win the ratings war? Will it win the battle? This week, SmackDown actually did win it last week. Um, so we're going to have to, let's tune in, so let's get it right now. I'm pulling it up, guys, so. So yeah, hold on, guys. So same, but what do you guys think about this from the raw ratings? I mean, I don't know. It's a very good show. If you guys can check out my review, I have the review available for you right now if you have not seen it. So um, but yeah, there's a raw ratings report. Now let's look at the SmackDown ratings report. And I'll be it's coming up right now. So yep, yep. Yep, yep. So yeah, wow. Very shocking. So yeah. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um So how was Debbie spent on viewership for her first live show following the draft? Let's see. How was it? How was it? As it's loading right now, so, um, yeah, here we go. Sorry for the holdup, ladies and gentlemen. This is also the source's show buzz daily as well, right here. So, yeah. So, last night, or two nights ago, I should say, two nights ago, Tuesdays, live, WWE SmackDown, featuring the first show since the WWE Draft with, um, with a six-pack challenge in the main event, drew 2.743 million viewers. This is down 14% from last week's show, which drew 3.170 million viewers and featured the WWE Draft. SmackDown was number 10 for the nine viewership behind various coverages of the Democratic National Convention and the Haves and the Have Not. Have not. Um, SmackDown came in at number 2 for the 9 in the 1949 demographic behind CNN's <laughs> coverage of the DNC. So it's the rating here, okay. Um, it's a two hour show, so it's interesting. So it was down, which is not good. It's just saying I got it. They lost viewers. Um, I think, but it is way up though. This positive we can come out of this is that it's way up from its usual from like when they were taped. Um, maybe you checked on live and the Duran extension made it, you know, more tuned in more viewers though. They were just short a little bit from getting three million, just a little bit. Um, but it's a very good increase, though. I mean, not increase. I mean, it was down from last week, but I'm saying it from the tape sign, though. So, um, yeah, it's... Well, Raw won the ratings battle this week. Santa won it last week. We are... Well, not do it like a series on the title one one, but so far they got one apiece. Um, and, yeah. Um, yeah, so there you guys have it. Um, there's your WWE Raw and WWE SmackDown Live uh, TV ratings uh, report. For the news. That's your news right there. July 25th and 26th editions. I will be doing this every single week, comparing them up. Not doing single videos of like, oh, here's, you know, Raw and SmackDown. So, yes, um, both great shows, awesome shows. I liked Raw. I thought it was a solid, was a better show than SmackDown, but SmackDown still did deserve the ratings. It was worth a watch and worth your time. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Maybe more people will be tuning in next week, or it will go down. Maybe Saki shows next week. I will be giving you those reviews next week. So, of course... For next week's show, we still have that to go, but uh, stay tuned for more news. 
And yes, more videos to come. I uh, actually got to do a few more videos on the news that came out today. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you want more WB content. And um, share to show some support. And uh, comment because I want to see you guys thought about this. What'd you, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you, I'll see all you guys again. Peace out.